My name is uh, Mohammed Farza Akra. I'm an Indian by birth. I'm living in Qatar since uh, past 10 years and uh, currently I'm working in the capacity as a managing director for Lexus Sailing Air Stores. Previously, uh, I did my schooling in India, did my bachelor's in uh, American University of Sharjah. After that, I was in Sweden. I did my master's over there. Then uh, I came back, I worked with DHL. And when I was in Sweden, I had did my internship with uh, AKA as well. After that, uh, I joined this business. We started this in 1991, when uh, this, uh, this company was started by my father and uh, three other partners. The major partner being Mr. Khalifa Al Suwaidi, and uh, the other two partners being uh, Bekel Mohammed Saleh and uh, Mohammed Salim Farzant Ali. We started our first outlet in Al Sadd. That was in, uh, I don't remember the precise month, but it was in 1991. And uh, when we started this business, we did not start with uh, Thob. We started the Abaya fabrics over there. Yeah. Uh, somehow or the other did not work. We had to convert our business plan to the white thopes. And uh, suddenly it was a stepping stone for to become something big. To go more precisely into how we came into this, uh, if you look at our collars and our uh, loops over here, you see some of the material which is used inside it. It is called interlining. Interlining fabrics were not used interlining along with the fabrics were not used in Qatar ever before it was it, uh, it was a trend in uh, Saudi Arabia before. one of our customer uh, he came from Saudi he came to us and uh, he gave her thobe and told is it possible to make the exact same copy of this in a couple of days we did our research we bought this material we sourced this materials we, we bought it and uh, we stitched for him and we gave it that was a learning curve, learn, a learning customer for us. And we were the first one in Qatar in tailoring to introduce these interlining materials. From there, the journey of Lexus started and uh, everybody started preferring Lexus. And uh, currently we have 27, 27 outlets yeah. exclusively for Thobes. We bring all our materials from Japan, all our interlinings from Japan. Then uh, along with that we have the Ghatra, Agal, Fanila, Sarwal, then we have sandals, all these products in, ex in Kafia, all these products in exclusive range, you can find it in all the 27 outlets. Yes. Right next to that, the new addition that uh, we did in 2016 was uh, we opened a new branch or new vertical you can say uh, in the field of uniforms and uh, bed linens. We have an exclusive outlet for that in Doha, which is uh, located in the HPK building right opposite to al Watan Center, where all kinds of uniforms, shirts, pants, trousers, uh, suits, then the t-shirts. When a customer comes to our outlet, they are able to choose a wide variety of fabrics. Like I mentioned before, all our fabrics in the white fa in the, for white thobes, it comes from Japan. Now every everybody asks, what is the specialty with Lexus? And we often say, we have three major brands that we sell. One is Selgreen, that is the key, or you can say the USP of our business. Selgreen is a particular kind of fabric which brings coolness to the skin. It has 8% uh, modal mixture in the fabric. Most of our customers uh, know about this and like you know and this particular cooling effect is the reason why people come and prefer such particular brand. Then we have around 14 variety, 18 varieties in Toyobo and around uh, 16 varieties in another collection called Gold Collections. Lexus is known for the quality of stitching. 
every custom we have they are very specific regarding their shape their size and the particular fitting that we have and today we are the market leaders solely for the quality of stitching we provide how we do it yeah. whenever a customer comes to us once they select the fabric we make a detailed measurement of their neck their length their breadth and each and everything once that is completed our ma the we every outlet has its own master cutters to maintain the cutting and also the quality of production yes each master cutter makes sure the fabric is cut in the exact length that has been measured yeah. after that it goes to the the people who handle the collars and the cuffs they are the one who makes these interlining fabrics and attaches to it stitches to it once this procedure is completed it goes to the tailors tailors will do all the production in detail as per the measurement all the stitching work mm. then the next step is the ironing process they iron each and every section then it comes back to the master cutters again they check the quality of the stitching if it is good or not if not we reject it we make a new one after that the once the quality check is completed it goes for the measurement check again they check whether the measurements are properly done yeah. only after this process we do the delivery to our customer uh, i have three answers for that first one i would like to go back and see every business need an expansion to stay in the market other than the retail business for the white soaps we always keep getting inquiry for the uniform fabrics yeah. considering this demand we had opened an outlet exclusively for exclusively for all the uniforms uh for the shirts t-shirts scrub suits like yeah. doctor coats trousers suits anything you ask we have the fabrics for it even the safety coveralls yeah. we have the fabrics for it we stitch we make the production we take the measurement we stitch it and we deliver it yeah. same thing for the uh, linens when i say uh, linens it is bed banquet and hotel linens basically when you go to a star hotel if you go to the room all the kind of linens you see we have it in stock and uh, based on the measurements they give and based on the quality of fabrics they ask we have it in stock we stitch it and give it this is the current expansion what we are doing in future every company aspires to make the customer service better this question keeps uh, coming back to us yes we have the uh, good quality service and everything how do we approach those customers who are not able to come to us that is a big question to us we have been in talks this is not in implemented let me tell that first hopefully next year or by 2025 end we will be implementing this we are in talks with uh, artificial intelligent companies in uk in united kingdom and also in india to implement uh, softwares ar and vr technologies where a person or a master cutter sitting in our shop will be able to take measurements of our customer who will be either in their majlis maybe in their home or maybe in london yeah. so these kind of ground works are happening the test runs are going really well but we are still facing few technical difficulties hopefully we'll overcome that and we'll launch this one and this will be a good uh, uh, initiative for uh, like an all of customers yeah. to make it easy first of all whenever we do when we have a discussion with our partners in our board directors the first thing we always advise everyone is thank almighty that we are in doha because the special thanks even uh, thank you is not the word the gratitude will be to the royal family and to his highness sheikh tamim bin hamad al thani and also the father amir the business environment is set up especially for us because we deal with the qatari customers is set up in such a way that it is easy compared to what other countries are doing and i can vouch for this that is why we have been able to grow faster in this market 
when we speak about business the first thing we always thank is our family why I say family because personally for me this company was started by my father and three other partners and also I spoke out our Qatari partner as well they all three of them their family unless and until they did not have the support we wouldn't be having this position in today's market next thank you goes to our suppliers in Japan in UAE in England in France wherever we go we had worked sincerely to develop a certain level of relationship with all our suppliers and they have shown the faith in return to us we have some suppliers who had supported during the COVID without any payment so these kind of people are there in our uh, backstory who constantly support us whom we will be thankful each and every time yeah. then the third and the final one and never the least are our customers the customers in the sense each of our customer they are like our family even if there is a problem in the measurement or searching most of them they will come back to us they will make sure they uh, they work with our master cutters and make sure we rectify that issue so that we don't repeat that with another customer this kind of an inclusive family culture is there among the Qatari people and among the Qatari customers that we have and all these factors combine together to make it a success